So high blood pressure usually thought of something that you know adults have to deal with, but maybe not so much for kids. However, if you don't identify it in kids early enough, it could really cause some serious problems. So Dr. Don Schifrin is here. Dr. Don, as we call him, longtime pediatrician on the East Side, clinical professor at UW. We appreciate you joining us. So first of all, what is hypertension? Well, hypertension is really elevated blood pressure. And the, the saying goes that, you know, children are not small adults when it comes to treating disease, but children's chronic diseases like obesity, diabetes, carry for, and tobacco carry forward into adult diseases. So finding and treating, if you need to, high blood pressure in children is a priority. The American Academy of Pediatrics just issued their first 50-page, 15,000 research study guidelines for wow. clinical practitioners last fall, which really is a roadmap for every pediatric practitioner, every pediatric clinician, and every family practice doctor to identify who to test, how to test, when to test, and maybe what to do and when to refer when you d d discover uh, kids with elevated blood pressure. So which kids are most at risk for this? Well, almost every kid is at risk. The, the prevalence rate for normal children and uh, the American Academy of Pediatric Guidelines has a wonderful new table that talks about what is elevated blood pressure in normal children mm -hmm. using 50,000 children as a base. But again, every child is at risk uh, because the prevalence rate is maybe one out of 17, 18 children. Uh, and with adults, remember that one-third of adults have hypertension. Uh, and so when you find an elevated blood pressure in a child, there is something that you should do. And every, every uh, practice should have this simplified screening table that's been included in the guidelines that talks about, well, here's an elevated blood pressure. The, the, the real specific tables are based on age, gender, and height categories. And so they're very specific. Obesity, what are some of the other general factors for, for, for people who have kids who might fit into these categories? What might be some things you really got to get yourself to a pediatrician? Well, again, uh, prematurity, we know prematurity is a risk. We know obesity is a risk. We know diabetes is a risk. Mm -hmm. We know that chronic kidney disease is a risk and also chronic heart disease. And really, there's a lot of things that we know that contribute to hypertension, but most people with hypertension uh, are unaware of it. Uh, it becomes undetected, mm -hmm. unrecognized, and then untreated. And, yeah, because there are no signs, issue. really, that your kid has high blood pressure, right? So what, what happens if you find out that your kid does have hypertension? What do you do? Well, if indeed you discover that during a visit your child has an elevated blood pressure, mm -hmm. remember, one reading does not make a diagnosis. I think that's the key thing. So looking at this road map that the Academy has done, they're saying that if indeed it's elevated, most of the time it's either anxiety, they've just finished physical activity if they're a teenager and just had a Mountain Dew with a huge amount of caffeine. <laughs> so there are a lot of reasons that that blood pressure may be elevated. And again, that becomes part of the road map. What do you do then? Do you have them come back? Uh, and yes, that's a good thing to do. You have them come back and do another reading. And there are also some things that you can do. We call it ambulatory blood pressure monitoring. If it's really elevated on several visits, you may want to set up a referral to send them to somebody that can do some blood pressure monitoring at home with special monitors. We've only got about 60 seconds, but you brought some goodies right. with you. What do you have with it? For, well, this is, this is a, a, a regular blood pressure cuff. Now, most offices will do uh, uh, automatic or machine right. blood pressures, which are not the same. So if indeed a machine detects an elevated blood pressure, we want the, the uh, clinicians to do this as well, osculatory or regular blood pressure cuffs to confirm that and then continue doing that as well on repeat visits. And lastly, if your pediatrician is not doing this on a, on, at the wellness check, do you recommend asking for it? Well, when to do it? We, uh, the Academy recommendations are every preventative visit after age three or under age three if there's risk factors, and every visit if there are risk factors such as diabetes or cardiovascular disease or chronic kidney disease. All right. All right. Great insight, Dr. Don. Thanks as always for joining us on King 5 Mornings. Always a pleasure. Thanks, Dr. Best. Don. We'll see you next week. And we'll be right back with a look at weather and traffic after this break. Here's a peek outside in the meantime. Actually, not a bad looking day this morning. Are we gonna take a look outside? If not, we'll just look at Dr. Don. And look. <laughs> Hopefully I'm sunny enough. You are sunny <laughs> you and lovely. Are always sunny. We'll see you next week. We'll be right back after this.